Hey, what's up? Can you hear me? Yeah, can you hear me? Yeah. Yeah, what's up, what's up? Um, How are you? Cool, man. I had to take off my glasses after watching this episode, man. I'm like, uh, um, I'll give a quick thought about all Americans. Again, solid episode. I think we're getting back into the swing of things. Um, that point that that YouTuber made about Olivia, I had never, I had never seen anybody make that point, but I think she might have been onto something with that. I would really like it if you expanded on that in a future video because I think we need to dive deep more into that because we've never really addressed the biracial identity thing, not just with Olivia but also with Jordan because you know, they've grown up in Beverly Hills and they never really got exposed to their blackness until Spencer came into their lives. So he opened that up to them. So I think that's one aspect of the situation. Yeah. Um, quickly, I, I was happy for Spencer when he made that. Uh, play on special teams and for Jordan for going the game winning touchdown. Proud of Olivia, but then when Jordan dropped a ticket about Wade, that's just going to bring more mess. I'm just, this is probably a full condition, but I feel like Wade and Jordan are about to throw hands next week because Wade's all like, oh, you want to take my spot? Come and get it. So there's going to be some smoke and there might be a whole barbecue up in there. So we'll see what happens. <laughs> And, uh, yeah, that was the song. We're off to All American was good. Now, we have the homecoming, but because, man, we got to give Peyton Alex Smith his flowers. That was truly awesome. Great TV. He did that. <laughs> he did that. He, he took did. me back to some of Spencer's, like, season one cries. And I was like, come on now. Come on. And the fact that his dad has Alzheimer's and he's relatively, I'm not saying old old, but he's relatively young. That's, he's young. That's just what makes it sadder. And, you know, I think like he felt like he was just, you know, resigned to the fact that he's never going to find out about his birth parents. And I, I honestly thought that his dad was going to die because his mom called and said he went to the hospital. I'm like, oh, shit, he's going to take it. Me too. And then that would have made him feel really bad because he just said, I should have just appreciate the time I had with him and just, you know, enjoy that. But then his dad drops that tidbit about JR's mom. And now it's like, okay, now what are, what are we, what's going on here? I thought the DNA test said the yarn. Right. Like, why are we getting circled right back to JR's mama? What do yeah. she know? We already know that that's not going to, um, that's probably going to be explained. I'm going to touch on the other storylines before we get to the big one because I have some big thoughts about that. I thought Pika and uh, Nate's story in this episode was really, really good. I'm glad Nate stood up for herself. And that, that was so beautiful that we get in this friendship between Pia and Nate. We all thought Pia was just going to be this mean girl, but we slowly see that this girl has a heart. Like she gave $50 to support for to the all sorts of things that Damon was doing, so that was dope. And then the fact that she gave Nate her flowers, saying she's dope and that she's like really, really cool. And that you've given, you've helped me see that got another friendship going. That was that was really, really good. So I'm, I'm here for the Thea Nate friendship. And I can already tell that's going to happen because I've seen the promo for next week. They're hanging out at this party, so we might see more scenes with them. So that was cool. Cam doing his thing. I mean, I guess he's... Cam looks so good in this episode. Mitchell, what the hell is happening? <laughs> Yo, the, the dude just can sing, man. He got style. He was so fine. And he can sing. Like, he was yeah. perfectly moisturized. Like, okay, go ahead, Kofi. Cause... Yeah, I mean, Cam doing his thing. He finally accepted the fact that, you know, John being a singer, him singing that song with that new chick, I think what was her name? Gabrielle? Mm -hmm. Yeah. But I also think he should probably cut to steal us some type of way because it was about to they were gonna hang out after that. They said, you know what, Rain Trey, I'm gonna hang with Gabrielle. I mean, Keisha, you you did say you wasn't looking for a relationship. You just said you needed a friend, so you can't look disappointed. <laughs> I mean, y'all got together. 
I was just, I was, when he was singing and she was staring at him the way she was staring at him, I said, girl, if you don't get your man tonight, he's going to be gone. Go get exactly. your man, girl. Exactly. Exactly. You know, I mean, he's feeling you, you feeling her. So y'all might as well, what are y'all doing? And they are, I'm glad that he apologized to the team. I'm glad he was honest and he was transparent about everything. I know you still think he's getting shifty, but I'm going to give him a pass because he went through a lot. The fact that... You know, he did, but it took so much to pull that out of him. It took Damon getting on there and t getting on stage and telling the whole damn world that his father has early onset Alzheimer's for you to tell your teammates that you abandoned, why you abandoned them. And sometimes, <laughs> sometimes it takes other people speaking their truth and opening their heart for others to open his heart. I, mean, I agree. I just think that there's two, like, JR is not a one-time thing with him. He he just repeatedly, like, does stuff when it comes to these walls and, like, specifically with Damon, like, it feels very cyclical of, like, he cool with Damon, then he get pissed with Damon, then he really pissed with Damon, then he ignored Damon, then he kind of think about it, now he cool with Damon, and it just goes around the circle, and I'm just like, I'm over it. You have, like, I, I don't know if he's really learned or if he's just he sees Damon do something, then he goes and do it. Like, I won't know that he actually has grown until he starts to implement some of the things that he is supposedly listening to and learning from and not being prompted by somebody else. Okay, fair enough. But I thought that, you know, he did the right thing here. And hopefully now, he's, I think he's gotten back into the good graces of the team because I'll see in the next episode. I think he's back on the baseball team. So... We're good at that. And then finally, man, Amara can't catch a break. Just when we thought that she got cleared over the edited video about her talking bad about Brent and it looked like things were going to go great. And then all of a sudden we get this mug shot and like, and then Zeke's like, please tell me this was doctor, but it's not. And now we got another mess that she's got to deal with. And, uh, I mean, I'm definitely going to need context on it because I'm like, if she got a mugshot from the past, she got a mugshot from the past. It looked like that, that was her college days. So, like, and did y'all not vet her before? Well, I mean, I don't know. I think somebody's out to get her. <laughs> because for that to just leak all of a sudden. And besides, wouldn't you have to disclose something like that when you're applying for a job anyway? So, or if like, a background check. Right, so that, that just doesn't make sense. And I don't know if you know this, but I feel like they're also setting up a triangle between her, Coach Turner, and then Zeke because the fact that she just decided to, he just left the drink and was like, I, I know I've been kind of a dick and I'm sorry about all that, but they, what, I think they spent like hours just drinking this bottle of wine or whatever, so we might get a triangle there. Okay. Yeah, that's definitely coming in. I don't understand, but I'm like, all right, girl, if I guess, because Zeke is giving ghetto. One band, one sound is still giving ghetto. We don't want him, but okay, girl. Zeke, Zeke's probably, I think Zeke's feeling her. You know what I mean? I've always felt like that. So we'll see what happens. Yeah. Okay, so let's get to the big one. I'm going to have to take my glasses off. Of this <laughs> okay. Um, Simone, this is on you, girl. All of this could have been avoided if he just made some boundaries, but nah. <laughs> All of what could have been avoided? I mean, because Keisha made the sense, said emotional cheating, right? And they haven't actually done anything yet, but she can't be that oblivious not to know that <laughs> Damon feel with him. Come on. But even everything was heightened in this episode because he thought that he was going like he goes to go get information from his dad who doesn't know anything that shuts him down then he comes back he thinks he's going to lose his dad but his dad is just in the hospital so it's also like she can't put up boundaries around him going through these emotional moments that are also heightening whatever is already there like to me there was nothing that simone could have done different because she did not act out of turn she supported him as a friend while he was going through a very traumatic moment in his life yeah but now it's just it's now more complicated than ever because 
I'm pretty sure she's going to tell Jordan next week, and I've seen the promo, and Jordan did not look very too pleased when they were in that elevator. I don't know if you've seen it yet, but I've seen it, and I'm like, oh, damn, here comes the mess. And I just, it's, it was coming. I knew it was going to happen, and I predicted this when we talked about it last week. I said, something's going to happen either on that trip or when they have that dance, and I, I'm not gonna lie, like I watched that full scene. The, I mean, her hair lay <laughs> with his clean suit, and then that hair turned it off better by Khalid, who is one of my favorite R and B artists. Like, oh, if all the Americans gonna do anything, they gonna give you the perfect score to the to the characters picking up something. I was like, yeah. not this song. <laughs> Yeah. Okay, especially the, the lyric, we, you just you just say we're friends with us when when nobody's around. I, that was literally going through my head when it's, that whole came on. I said, "Oh sh." I'm like, and my heart was beating fast. I'm like, "Oh shit!" <laughs> <laughs> and, and all then, American is famous for it. Like, there's certain moments of like sound and score. Like, I will never forget the one of the times that I really realized when all Amer that all American does music very well is the the episode in season one when Spencer walks into that Beverly Hills party for the first time and like the music creates the ambiance of like this is the life like and then it's like the flashes of the Adderall kids and the girls and the and the boys and, and I'm just like they got me they got my ass up in it the music is bringing me in it and from there. They have very, very specific moments in time where music really helps to trigger, like, oh, this is about to be a moment. And tonight, you were 100% right. As soon as he started playing that song, I said, oh, we are in trouble. I, I feel like, now I feel like you're going to hold it against me. Now I feel like you ain't going to listen to the music no more. <laughs> <laughs> like, it's not all the songs. It's usually just when it's like something traumatic. So like, I can't listen to the songs from the Vegas episode and then right. they keep that thing in the car crash. So like, it's those songs, but like this, I can listen to it, but then I'm gonna go back to places like, okay. It's, it's just when it triggers something traumatic, like not traumatic, but like it triggers something negative for me. Then that's when I'm like, I'm gonna avoid the song. But if it's something that just really works and it's just like, well, they, they got the scene off and it was beautiful, then I'm gonna go ahead and get out the I'm sorry, like, and I, I hate to submit it, but the vibe is right. Like, I wouldn't have been mad if a kiss did happen because I, she looked way but it too, didn't. She looked way too comfortable. I'm sorry, Eve. She looked way too comfortable. Like, the way that him doing the whole spin is like, oh, the kiss. The spin, spin is I where it was like, okay, now we have gone off the rails. We have left. No, this yeah. is not. Oh, this train 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 that was a problem, but everything up until that, I was fine with. Yeah, the train's off the station, so her, so I don't know what Colin Jordan is gonna do. Clearly, we are now we are in it. This has become a full-on entanglement. Now y'all ain't. No, it not, is not. All right, now not you rushing to make this a damn entanglement. Well, I'm way out of there before anything could actually really happen. Okay. Now I, all I, of a sudden they Jada in August. What are you talking about? Oh, and I say it. I'm using it from Damon's perspective because he clearly he his feelings about Simone have been clear from the jump. Like he's being honest with her. She, I don't think she's being honest with her. Even he should have to point it out to her. You not being like when she said that I like Cam. At least I'm honest with my feelings about my feelings about Cam. You're not being honest about your feelings about Damon. And I think that's why she has. That's why she ran off because I think deep down she knows she's starting to feel him too. And okay, but catch up, like catch yourself because if you're saying in that moment she's starting to feel it too. It's one thing to say that she's not being honest if she knows and she's not speaking to it. But if she doesn't know and she's starting to realize it in this moment, then she was being honest. She didn't know. All right, well, the point is she not, she's seen <laughs> not it. Not the point is, y'all okay, trying look, to make points, and then I try to make sure I'm, that you be specific saying, if you won't make the point, then all of a sudden the point is, I, Erica. Look, I just think she ran because she's starting to see it, okay? She wouldn't have ran. Yeah, if she, she ran because in that moment she saw it, for sure. Yeah. 
So now I'm interested to see where it goes from here because y'all in campus, y'all still are gonna go to these family dinners now. So what, y'all not just gonna talk anymore? Is that what it is? You just going to But also I want you to make a note that like she also ran because she chose her relationship. Oh yeah, that's oh yeah, that's true too. Yeah, I I, I don't fault her for that. I mean the debt now is Damon in the wrong because I know he knew that she had a boyfriend, but you know Sometimes. I'm going to give him a pass because his daddy stuff was going down. But otherwise, I would be on his head. Because this and, is exactly and, what I was telling you with the last live that we did about how this is selfish. Right. And I feel, and it, it can be selfish, but like I said, man, I've been, I've been a Damon. I've been in that situation where I had a best friend. We were friends since we was in middle school. And then we, we in my senior year, she I started having feelings for her, but she was in a relationship at the time, and uh, then she broke it off, and then I wanted to tell her I started feeling her, and I was trying to tell her how I feel, but then she said she valued our friendship, so I kept it to myself, and I didn't How act- soon after the breakup did you tell her? Oh, I never told her. I kept it to myself because she said she valued me as a friend, and I felt real but bad. I tell you that. Huh? Why did she tell you that, then? Why did she tell... Oh, well, because I, I asked her what went wrong in her relationship, and she said, well, you know, we just grew apart, but I still like hanging out with you, and then I thought I was going to, you know, say what I wanted to say, but then she told me that she values our friendship, and then that gave me the feel like, you know what, I don't want to make things more awkward, so I'm going to just keep my feelings to myself and just keep it going on and it sucks but you know and y'all not, we still cool now so you and still like subsided like i mean i still care for her but i'm never really you know acting on so you i want to do i want to i don't know i mean i'm in my life right now i'm still trying to get my paper so i i I'm oh, really God. No, no, like another I'm trying, man who's just trying to check his boxes. Like, I, y'all think so pragmatic when it comes to this, and I'm like, Lord have mercy. Well, I just want to be financially secure before I start trying to see a girl. All right. I get it. I get it. Is she in yeah. a relationship right now? Oh no, she's still she's, she's in school trying to be a doctor. So I haven't talked to her in like. Well, go months. ahead and um. Yeah. No shot while you waiting to be financially stable. Right, but Damon, I think, is going to... Even at the end of the episode, when his mom... He was going to go to her. But then he heard the conversation she was having with Jordan. And he did the right thing. I think he's... Now, I'm interested to see how he's going to react when she says she needs to take a step back. I mean, it's, it's hard to just... Emotionally, emotionally detached from a person that you feel like you have a genuine connection with and you opened up your soul and shared your most intimate feelings about and then now it's like damn what are we gonna do we're just gonna we, we're just gonna avoid each other and erica you might be on something with this fear now that damon and simone ain't hanging you might be going Thea might i might open the door for him to go talk to Thea because I've seen how he looked when he made that donation for that 50 bucks, and he looked really, really, you know, touched by that. So, best way to get over one broken heart is to <laughs> hey, Theo, what's good? Like, what's up? I think that's what's going to happen. And now, I- I'm really curious to see what's going to happen next week because this might, I think this is going to affect him on the baseball field because it looks like he wants to throw hands at the opposing player. And he starts, you know, taking subtle shots at his game and stuff. And now I think this is going to throw him off his focus. And, uh, yeah. Yeah, and I, I – see, yeah. now wh- why do I have a strange feeling that we're going to get – that something's going to happen in all of America when Jordan and Lily get stuck in this recording studio locked for God knows how many hours – and and we want to, and, and something's gonna happen there. I, I I don't think so, but it it's TV. Wouldn't it be good TV if we didn't have any more mess? 
we, we're in the middle of this big ass love square triangle, whatever the hell you want to call it. I mean, it's it's a mess, man. And this is why I implore dudes: if you like the girl and you feel the girl and you want to be with the girl, do not. You better just let that shit go and just go for broke. And if she ain't feeling you, then you just move on. But you hold it on to it and then just say, oh, we can be friends. Well, let's just be friends. Let me just support the, let's, uh, let me be different. Nah, like you, you can't be friends with somebody trying to be in a little, uh, if you like feeling Then the like, problem with that is, if, if you, you are a male it. and you can only be nice and supportive to a woman because you're romantic, I, I didn't say that. I said that, like, if you have more than feelings for her, then yeah, you can still be a supportive friend. But if you want more, then you need to be honest and just be upfront with it. And don't, okay. Don't hide. That's all I'm saying. I don't think that Damon is hiding. Oh, no, I don't think he's hiding. I, I thought, I thought he was, but I just think he was being respectful and classy because he Which knows. Which is he, what you should do. Yeah, but I think in this episode, he's one of my favorite characters, but I can honestly say I think he did cross the line a little bit. Yes. The only saving grace is that but he, he... But he did so because he was emotionally uh, charged, for sure. Thank you, Kofi. All right, peace out.